Hello, welcome to some more RV fun reviews and how to's. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how we store our bins, what bins we have, and then what our storage looks like underneath. This is the Jayco 32 BHDS. We don't have a ton of storage under here. In fact, this is the only storage that we have. So when we're storing, we gotta make sure that what we're bringing along with us on a camping trip can all fit under there. So I'm gonna show you inside of that little compartment and then I'm gonna show you individually what we keep in all of our different bins here and how that works. Okay, so let's start with the easy stuff, the bins. I got these bins at Ace Hardware. You can get these anywhere, obviously, but the sizing matters. So I wanted to make sure that these would fit into this compartment here. So make sure you measure your compartment. That's the key here. Um, these blue ones are very, very close to not fitting, but uh, they do fit. So every time I put them in, I seem to pull back this molding here. Uh, and that's something I want to just be cautious of because wear and tear over the years, I don't want to rip that molding and then have water issues coming in here. So let's start with clean water. Obviously you want to keep this separate from your black water, but in here I got my gloves that are pre-packaged. I got my two clean water hoses. Um, I also got my spray down hose, which will probably eventually find its way into the black container. Um, just because when I'm rinsing the black tank, I'm probably gonna end up using this hose here. This is one of those non um, kinking hoses, which is pretty cool. I got my filters in here as well, the boxed ones, and then the current one that I use is down in there as well. So water hose is pretty simple. This is for all my tire chocks. This is the bin that goes in last because that's the first thing I gotta grab. So I got my Anderson chocks and then I also got my X chocks, uh, Anderson levelers, my X chocks in this bin. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I also keep in my little yellow blocks. Uh, those go in here as well. They fit, which is great. That's why I got the higher bin for this one. Here's my electrical bin. And here I got uh, my extension cord, regular extension cord, my 30 amp extension cord, my south wire surge guard. Uh, and then I have a little lock for my surge guard because when you're out, you never know with people. And then I got my little adapter too that goes from my 30 amp down to my regular cord. So electrical in there. I'm sure over the years I will add to this and take away from it and whatever. And then here's my black water. So I labeled everything too. Uh, and yes, I did put black in black for the reason of just using your head. Easy enough. I actually haven't used these. So before you start saying, wait a minute, you're not using gloves. Uh, I didn't actually use this pipe yet. So here's my little sidewinder uh, that gives you your, your draw down. Um, I will keep gloves in here as well once I get them. But I got all my black tank components. The nice thing about this trailer, which I'll show you, and most trailers have this, but in the back here on my bumper, I got my little squeezable removable hickey doodle. And this is the uh, hose that came with the camper. That's the one the dealership gave us. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad hose. So that fits all the way in there, which is clutch, because then I can always keep that back there. And then this ends up being a spare. So those are my four bins. Let me show you how those go back in at the end here. Let me show you what it looks like under my compartment here. So I'm currently not hitched up. We're just parked at our storage location. So the things that I keep right here on the edge, my toolbox, I wanna always be able to get to my toolbox. I keep my hitch right here because that's gonna be the first thing that I have to grab. And then I got my sway bars that fit in here as well. So once I get my blue bin in, uh, it leaves just enough room to put all my sway stuff right here. And I have my toolbox handy. Also got my level right back here so I could easily get to that when I'm going to level. I found a piece of carpet that I had left over from when we carpeted our house. It just happened to be the exact length. Uh, I ended up cutting, no, I didn't even cut it. I put it here up on the side. So you can see that it goes up with the curve of the front of the trailer. So that's really clutch too. Um, I would do that just because things don't slide as easily on carpet as they do on this board underneath. We just got that linoleum stuff and they slide like crazy. So first entrance, what you're looking at, toolbox, slides, hitch, leveler. Uh, I got my tire jack right there. Hopefully I never have to use that, but I'm sure I will. And then inside here, we got a couple of our extra rugs and mats. Those are usually the last things we kind of put out. I got some chairs there for the girls, a bug catcher. Uh, just some tools for me doing some things. And then under, so you can see we're under the bed here, which I lifted up. We got our two chairs for storage. We got our four foot foldable table, which is really nice. It just fits right here. 
And then over here, we got our little vacuum, our little sweeper that we keep inside so we could vacuum things up. There's still a ton of room here. We haven't definitely utilized this space yet. I'm sure we will fill this up over the years. Um, but underneath there, that's what you're looking at. Now on top, fishing poles. You might say, Ross, how did you mount those? That's a great question. There's a how-to video on our channel of how I mounted these and I actually put a link up above to that, but I'll show you real quick. Just use these little uh, nail clips and some wire. And so I, I single wired it here because this is the light end. And then over there, I double wired it uh, to hold down the heavier side. So I have the higher bins going in this side here. So I made sure that I put everything with the fishing poles that has the drop down on that side so I can still push all my bins in. So I'm gonna show you here how I load everything in, give you a better idea of how it all fits. Now again, there's not an instance where I'm probably not parking and taking all of these things out at once. Um, so all the bins, anytime we go to set up, all come out, but it's the order of which they come out, which is important to me. So I always have to start with my black water, put that in first. And I slide them in one at a time, just to make sure. I'm not banging anything up, but my black water one's gonna go right here in the center. You can see I'm clearing my fishing rods. Uh, I'm leaving enough room there on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my electrical. My electrical goes right on top. So I start that, push that right on top. And the reason I put the black on the bottom is because it is sticking out a little bit. I got to reorganize that one, but at least the electrical is heavy enough that it's holding down that container. That black one starts to smell like black tank stuff. Uh, I can make sure that it's at least being compressed. So that's why that one goes in that order. Next, I go for the clean water. You can see here how close I am. 15 inches, the bin's 15 inches, it's right in there. So push that in, and then I wanna make sure I give myself enough room so I kinda of push everything in. And now I have room for my tire chocks, which is always the first thing to come out for me. I always chalk my tires first. The tire chocks go in, like so. And I wanna make sure I'm not on anything, I'm flat my lids on the way it should be this one honestly doesn't even need the lid but there you go so that's what it looks like that way when we pull up to the spot first thing to come out is those tire chocks here's the other side I wanted to show uh, so the other things we keep in there we got one of those giant 9 by 12 mats folds up really nice that just goes right in here Put that against that edge, slide that out as far as we want. And then we got our pack and play for the baby. And that goes in on top of that, push it over to the side. See that fits in there. And the last thing I put in is my grill. Uh, for some reason, this grill mounts on the back, but not when you close it. So I had to do this, found a little plastic bin that's hard open for this one. Then I could just set that in there. It just sits like that. So. That's this side. So, just showing you a little bit of what we do organizationally wise here inside. If you like this video, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button down below. Helps us, it helps you. We appreciate it. I will put links to all of these bins that I have. Um, so you get an idea, these are the rubber ones. I would go with the higher quality stuff. I don't like that hard plastic. I want something that's gonna shake and move a little bit. Plastic over the years breaks down. So the rubber ones are definitely the way to go. This has been another review and how-to-ish from S'more RV Fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.